Hey guys, so it is Easter afternoon, actually probably even evening at this point. I am going to try to plant these. These are 10 chestnut trees, and as you can see, they're not real big. Um, and as such, the roots are not real big. So I am going to try to plant them with this. This is a dibble. You see it's got a T-handle on top, and I'll show you when we get out there, but what you do is you stick the flat end here into the ground, wedge it in there, and then you push it over to one side and back and forth and you make a little wedge-shaped hole, and you put the roots down in there, and then you move this a few inches over, stick it back in the ground, and compress the, uh, the roots down so they're making good contact with the ground. We've had good success planting with one of these with evergreens, uh, blue spruce, Norway spruce, even some con colors, um, con color firs. So the roots for those chestnuts are pretty small and I'm pretty sure I will have good success with these uh, or with this, using this for those. So let's go give it a shot. Okay, so you can see I've stepped it into the ground, <clears throat> down to about ground level. All you do is kind of rock it back and forth like this. So here's our chestnut tree, and you can see there's not much in the way of roots. <clears throat> so we'll just stick this down in here. You know what? Let me um. But it'll go down in there like that. We'll get it down to where it needs to be rooted, and then we'll close it up. I'm gonna need two hands for this, so I'm gonna set this on the tripod. So you can see, the tree has been crimped down in there. <clears throat> now you can even take your foot and just step on either side of it, make sure that the soil on either side is compacted. But that is one chestnut tree planted. Now on to the next one. There's our planted tree, and then all you need to do is grab yourself a five gallon bucket and bring it over to the tree, and you just wanna kinda soak the tree pretty good. Okay, and you hear that bubbling? I don't know if you can see it. It's the two holes on either side from where I crimped it down with the, the dibble, and those kinda hold water and help um, water get down to the roots as well. So, I don't know, I put a couple gallons on, and that should do good. And then I'll, depending on how dry it is, I'll either come out tomorrow or the next day. And for the first few weeks, make sure that they stay pretty moist. But that's all there is to planting a tree with a dibble. Okay guys, we got all of the chestnuts planted. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I've got four pecan trees. And you can see the roots on these are a little bit more robust and a little bit bigger. So the dibble's not that wide, but all you have to do is uh, dibble 
twice in a row and I'll show you. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I made a hole one wide here and then I just stepped it in and did another one here. So that hole is actually double wide. And what I'll do is the same process. I'll just put this down in and sometimes I'll use my fingers like this to try to get the roots down in there. Just down as deep as it'll go. And then I'll bring it back up to the level I want it planted at. And then the process for this will just be have, I have to step it in twice on each side. Okay, you can probably see behind me the flags. Um, apparently we've got 12 walnuts, walnuts and four pecans. So we've got all of those planted and watered. And it really didn't take around. So, I am heading out to milk, taking the food scraps to the pigs before I do that. And it has turned out to be just a gorgeous day. I mean, it is beautiful out. I don't know if you guys can see. You guys probably can't see the sunset. Let me feed the pigs and then I'll show you. But it's probably 65 to 68 degrees. It's still a little breezy, but man, is it nice out. Probably here it is still breezy but there is the sunset there you can kind of see let's see if I bring it down to here it's just a beautiful beautiful day so I'm gonna go milk you guys had a wonderful day uh, I really do and I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments